this is a good example of also how some can be difficult to decipher. Some of the insides of the books, when you open them, look like this. There are tons of different signatures or inscriptions, often in several different languages. Here we can see they're in Hebrew as well as Russian. It appears that one of the owner's children also got a hold of the book. He's scribbling his new vocabulary in French on the side. So sometimes it's hard to decipher which which signatures are actually you know which inscriptions are actually signatures or contain provenance or names. So here we're focusing on on this inscription in the Hebrew, which I'll show up close. So in Hebrew, this says Zeh Hasefer Sheyach Leachatan Eliyahu Simcha Etkind. This book belongs to in Hebrew. The word Chatan has two meanings: son-in-law and also groom. Eliyahu Simcha Etkind is his name. He was Elias Simcha in Russian. And presumably he received this book either from his father-in-law, which is why he denoted that he was a son-in-law, or perhaps as a wedding present. Etkin actually perished in the Holocaust. He's not a notable historical figure in Jewish history like many of the other previous owners, whether they were great rabbis or you know, were wealthy enough to donate buildings or build uh, yeshivas, houses of study or some sort. Etkind was really just an ordinary person originally from Mogilev, Russia, and he made his way to um, Lodz, Poland. He was a soldier in the Tsar's army in World War One, and then when he was released, after he was in German captivity for a couple of years, he made his way to Poland where he married his wife and settled. Elias Simcha Etkin, the owner here, was an accountant in Lodz. He was very successful prior to the war. And all of the information about his life was obtained from the survivor testimony of his son, Michael Etkind, who survived the Holocaust and recorded his story in his memoirs. I also have some other individuals who perished in the Holocaust. This is the stamp of Joseph Burstein. Here we can see that in the German that he was in Vienna, living in Vienna during the time of the stamp, and his, his address is listed here on a Beatrix Street, and then his phone number at the bottom. And I was able to find in the Dachau concentration camp entry registries this address. This was the last known address for Burstein before he was arrested by the Nazis in 1938. This one is in Romanian. I think our only one so far in Romanian. This is uh, Samuel Shon. Shmuel in Hebrew and in English would be Samuel. So here he's written Hida was the city he was from. And then the stamp also says, you can see something about manufacturing and he was a merchant according to the record in the uh, Yad Vashem database in the Holocaust Memorial Museum in Israel. So he perished with his wife. Mm -hmm.